Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a haul for you and today's haul is going to be a Euroshop Christmas haul. So you may have seen in a recent vlog that I was over in Germany and while I was there I spotted a Euro shop, which is a bit similar to I guess like a pound shop here in the UK or maybe a dollar store if you're watching from the US. So everything in there costs a Euro. So I thought we'd go and have a little look around and I picked up I think it was 28 items. I know that because I got to the till and my card was declined. It wasn't working in that store for some reason. So I had to then, with a big queue in store, rush to the cash point, come back, rejoin the queue, then everything was taken out of the bag, put back in the bag, and it was stressful. But I managed to squeeze it all into my suitcase. It's all come back with me. I'm going to share with you everything that I picked up in the Euro shop. So before we get into the haul, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this Euro shop haul, do give this video a little thumbs up. There will be DIYs coming with all of these items. So I thought rather than always doing like a Poundland DIY, it would be nice to do some DIYs with things that maybe some other viewers can get their hands on. Of course, one day I would absolutely love to do some Dollar Tree DIYs, so if ever I get over to the US, you bet they will be coming your way. Right, so let's get straight into it. They do these Christmas stars. These are a 3D design. It looks like you actually have to cut these out and kind of DIY them. They're 14 by 14 centimeters. We have a little peek actually and just see exactly what's involved so you know what the effort's going to be if you get hold of these yourself. Oh, it doesn't look like you need to cut them out. They will actually pop out, which is quite cool. So yeah, look forward to making those. We might do those together. If you're interested in seeing those, maybe I'll kind of include them in the DIYs even though obviously it's already a DIY, if that makes sense. The next thing that I picked up was this wooden tree. They also had this in white, but I quite liked the plain wood design. I thought if I do want to paint it, it would give me a nice base for painting. And it has a candle holder on there, so you can pop a tea light into this glass. A tea light holder that's attached to the front on this piece of metal. So that's a really nice solid piece, lovely for the mantelpiece, and a good one that we can have some fun with doing a little DIY on that. The next thing I got was this three pack of wooden decorations. I think these are to poke into plants, but you've got a little car in there and actually it's three cars, isn't it? All with different things on their rooftops. So they've got like presents, a tree, and what's the one at the back got on it? I can't tell, but when we do the DIY with those, Obviously, we will find out. But yeah, I thought those looked really nice for one euro. I picked up a few of these branches. I bent them over so that I could squeeze them into my suitcase. So these are one euro per stem. I'll just show you one of these. These have the little white berries on and some frosted pine cones. And yeah, they've just got like a wired stem wrapped in paper. So quite nice quality. And I picked up a few because I've got something in mind to do with those. They've also got this variety which has smaller berries on it as well. So yeah, I just thought they were really nice quality and I love the way the branches are formed on these. Quite realistic looking. Really good for one euro. Kind of giving me the white company vibes as well, so we are loving that. I picked up some wool in different shades of white. This is kind of like a creamy off-white, and this one's a slightly more fluffy variety. I've got a DIY coming that I'm using a lot of wool for. I wonder if you can guess what that's going to be. I also picked up this miniature Christmas tree. So this I don't think is particularly nice as it is, but I've got something in mind that we can do with that that I think is going to make it look incredible. So I'm really excited to get cracking with these Euroshop DIYs, but it's not too bad on its own. I just think that, yeah, I've got something in mind for that one that I think will look really nice. And I'm sure once you sort of fluffed out all the branches on that, it would look lovely. They had two of these, what I would call like bottle brush Christmas trees in a silver glitter design with sort of frosting around the edges, which I thought looked really good. I'm not sure about the base being gold, if I was being particular. I'd prefer that to be white or silver, I think, but yeah, we could always paint them. Really nice, and hopefully I'll be able to do something with those as well for you. Then I got some of these little pegs. I probably got some of these already, but I just thought I'd pick some up while I saw them. And also they do these little wooden Christmas trees, which I thought were really sweet. 
again would be really good to do a little craft project with and then I picked up this ornament which is a reindeer it has bells around its neck and it's in white and plain wood they have these things which are really good if you want to recycle some old glass bottles. These are corks with a little battery in and then a metal little LED light chain on a wire. So what you do is thread the wire down into the bottle. I've got one open here for you so you can see how it works. So you thread all of that part into the bottle and then it just has a little switch on it. The battery's already inside and it lights up really nicely. So if you've got some nice glassware or even if you picked up maybe some vintage pieces of glass where maybe some nice cut glass or just some nice old-fashioned decanters they will look absolutely beautiful once you pop them inside. I picked up some of these little rubbish bags these are kind of like the recycling bags that you can get for putting food waste in and that kind of thing but I've got some ideas of things that we can do with those and I also picked up this advent calendar kit so this is basically just brown paper bags, but this is a DIY that you can do. So I will be doing that on the channel so you can see how you can create your own brown paper bag advent calendar to hang across your fireplace or wherever you want to. But that's a really nice little way you can DIY an advent calendar, maybe a little bit more environmentally friendly. And you could obviously put whatever treats you like into that. I got some of this garland. This is a three meter garland, just the green and it is wired which is really cool so you can bend it into different shapes i've seen lots of things being done with those so i've got a few ideas up my sleeve of things that we can do with those and i spotted these table runners in store as well which i was really excited to see i'm always on the lookout for scraps of fabric if they are nice and i thought this canvas material with the silver stars on it looked really nice and definitely is something that I can either make something from or I would actually be happy to use that as my table runner. I'm seeing that with some lovely plain white candles, some nice glassware, a few maybe silver little touches and you would be good to go. And I think that looks fantastic for one euro. How good would that look down the center of your table? I don't think you can go wrong with that, especially on a wooden table, just to sort of offset the middle with this nice white again slight white company vibes going on there as well so looks very very nice so i got two of those one euro each you really can't go wrong and i found this hanging star so i thought this was lovely on its own it's just a wooden cutout and it's got little star designs on it as well that are in white paint so a really nice rustic piece i think stars like this always look really nice either hanging on a doorknob or in a window. So if that was just hanging in the window and you looked in someone's house and saw that hanging there, I just think that would look really nice, really simple, but yeah, just looks fab. And is that everything? Oh, I've got some little wooden stars here to show you as well. Again, similar to the Christmas tree ones. So that is everything I've got to show you. I did buy the bag in store as well, which just says Merry Christmas on it. Quite a nice bag that as well, nice design isn't it? So might well use that to pop somebody's Christmas presents in this year. So that's everything I picked up in the Euro shop in terms of Christmas decorations. I really hope you enjoyed this haul and do stay tuned for the DIYs that I will be doing with a lot of these pieces that will be coming your way very soon. I am trying to get some DIYs up over November so that it gives you plenty of chance to get the inspiration and to get cracking yourself if you want to do any projects too. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Do click subscribe if you haven't done so already for new videos every week and hit the notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite and please do give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Didn't want to fork out for the Cadbury's, did I, when I was in Pound Stretcher? <laughs> Saved myself 20p there. I've got so many baubles, I think it's going to be the longest haul you've probably ever watched on here. This guy loves Christmas. Accurate. Oh, <laughs> the Christmas tree just fell. Focused. Yeah. Christmas in mind. Good old St. Nick's got our back. We're professional shoppers. We are. We know what we're doing. <laughs> We've gone wrong. I swear the stores do this on purpose where they manipulate the escalators to make you feel like A, you're losing your mind, they do. and B, like you just need to buy everything. Mm -hmm. And as worn by Kevin in Home Life. Come on!
Oh, it's not St. Calendar. So we're now going down. Have we had an egg? Oh, we've lost it. Oh, and delirious. It's a tinsel. I think. <laughs> Have you felt the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year? You felt the animals? Are any of you watching I'm a Celebrity? They'd be nice to That's not very festive, is it? 